There was a service announced by IBM earlier today, November 16th, announcing Quad 9. And for various reasons that I describe in this upcoming article, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Well, the biggest one is speed, but there's some other reasons here. If you look at DNS Benchmark, you'll see Quad 9 came out on top of Google, and I ran it many times, and it always comes out a little bit ahead. So anyhow, this video is really about how do I configure this on my Ubiquiti uh, router, which, well, has a GUI, but does not have a way to um, set this. So yeah, here's the GUI, but there's no GUI way to set this DNS forwarding setting I'm about to work on. So we're going to do it with command prompt, and that's what this is about. I've already backed up the configuration of the uh, Ubiquiti router, and that's done right here, by the way. Just back it up, download it, okay, in case something goes horribly wrong. But I've got you covered for most scenarios. All right, let's uh, open up the command prompt on this fresh copy of Windows 10 and a VM. And I'm going to stay connected to the VM even if I break DNS connectivity. Um, I can even do IP config release renew, all that kind of good stuff without messing things up. So I suggest we start with, whoops, this is one of my local server names. And this is obviously a public name. All right, now I'm gonna putty my way. Hmm, thought I made a shortcut for that, guess not. Putty my way to the Ubiquiti router. All right, next command is configure. All right, so I've got configure in the clipboard. Control C, right click. Of course, I could have just typed that. So I'm showing my DNS forwarding, I got two of them. Now I can swipe my mouse across, that'll be sure I have no carriage return in there. Control C. So I'm gonna delete what's there. And this is likely to break internet surfing in my household, briefly. Okay, those are gone. Actually, I'm gonna do an extra show, I wanna show that they're blank. Yeah, okay, so you can see a couple minuses. So let me add that to my directions here. Uh, this is the whole point here. I want to um, make sure I get the directions right before I go publishing anything. So you're basically looking at me developing the directions on the fly. We've queried it. We can see a couple of minuses. So it's pending a removal. That looks promising. And now I can set up the Forwarding line. Oh, did that wrong. All right, let's learn how this works. Does this overlap or just add another DNS? I think we know the answer, but I don't want to say it loud because I might be wrong. It adds. <laughs> what a mess. All right, I got to clean up the mess. So 8.8 does, does not have a minus next to it. And there was obviously an error in the instructions on the right. Go ahead and look at the list again. All okay, right, we got two going and one added. And over on the right, I fixed the typo here, a rather important typo. Nine is what we want to add. And all right, at this point, browsing in the household should be okay. So that worked. See if some depressing news comes up. Seems to work. Okay. That's good. So back at the Windows command prompt, do this stuff. All right. And that should be... Um, a little mouse issue there. Let's hit refresh. Let's get the orange there. Great. And in my case, you're going to have to type some local host in your network if you have a similar situation to mine. That still works. So local name resolution seems to be working. And then finally, 
CNN seems to look a lot like before. It's fine, we're just hitting a different DNS server now, but um, that's a good sign. So if this looked wildly different, that'd be kind of weird, right? All right, so surfing's fine. I'm now using a new DNS. And uh, I suppose I need to come up with some sort of web test of that. Yeah, I haven't really thought that through. So there's probably some way on Quad9 or maybe a test site. Yeah, I got to think about that. I don't know. If there's a domain they're blocking, I suppose that would be good. To really finish up testing and finish up the configuration, there's another step I have not done here. So it committed the change, but if we were to reboot the router, it's all lost right now. So to save this, you got to type save. The configuration is now saved. All right, we're done with that. The router's set. Now, check this out. IP config. Actually, I can show you IP config all first. There's my IP configuration. The lease and DNS servers 1.1, the router, right? You're not going to see the actual DNS that's passed forwarding through. Just want to make sure my router's healthy and happy. It is. It gave me the same IP address right back again. And uh, we're probably still surfing the web just fine. Yes, we are. So that's all good. Um, so yeah, I just broke the network connection of this VM and reestablished it. And uh, the DHCP function of the router is working as well. So I'm pretty comfortable in this article I've written and the commands I have there, are what's really necessary. Some of the stuff I just showed you was not needed. Uh, save right there. Save and you're done. Um, yeah, I could reactivate the putty session. That'll work. All right. Show DNS forwarding name servers. Nice. So we have a command. We don't even need to get in the configure mode. We can just query what we're at. And it says 9.9.9.9 available via statically configured. So it's looking good. So yeah, I'm pretty darn comfortable with how things turned out. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com.